Feeding pigs is one of the main responsibilities of caretakers on the farm. Feed husbandry practices and quality must comply with the nutritional requirements of each stage of production. Remember to consult the PIC Nutrition Manual for more details. Feed is a critical input for pig production, but it can also represent a risk for infectious disease introduction to the farm if it is contaminated with viruses, bacteria, or molds. Biosecurity measures implemented during, one, the acquisition of ingredients, two, manufacturing of feed, and three, distribution of feed are fundamental to protect the health of the animals. All ingredients used for swine feed must be transported in trucks that have not been used to haul pigs or have entered other pig farm premises, are stored in a biosecure way to avoid exposure to contaminated materials. Imported ingredients must be certified as safe and appropriate risk mitigation strategies must exist before use. Attention! The use of porcine origin ingredients in diets for PIC multiplication herds and gene transfer centers is prohibited. Consult PIC Health Assurance for direction on any questionable feed ingredients. Feed preparation for PIC farms must be manufactured in facilities approved by PIC that have undergone feed mill biosecurity risk assessments. This assessment must be completed and approved annually. Appropriate ingredient reception processes include a discharge cone or collar at the bottom of the hopper must be used to minimize unwanted materials from falling into the pit during the unloading process. Drivers are to remain inside their vehicle whenever possible. If it's necessary for a driver to exit the vehicle, access to the mill must be limited to the ingredient reception area and they must use shoe covers. The ingredient reception pit must be covered when not in use to minimize contamination. The ingredient reception area should be cleaned daily. Material spilled outside the receiving pit should be collected and discarded in a dumpster never swept into the receiving pit. Any changes to the feed ingredients or feed preparation and distribution process should be immediately reported to PIC Health Assurance in order to perform a risk assessment and discuss potential mitigation strategies. A feed mill must have well-defined traffic patterns for personnel, visitors, and trucks on the premises. Feed manufacturing must follow these biosecurity measures. People traffic in the warehouse and processing area should be limited to employees only. Separate traffic flow must be used for feed ingredient entry to the mill and complete feed output from the mill to minimize cross traffic. Feed should never be returned to the mill. The feed mill should be cleaned weekly aggressive rodent and bird control plans must be in place. Production equipment must be flushed routinely, especially before pig feed is produced after making feed for other species. Feed should be sequenced by species and follow a biosecurity pyramid. Regarding the distribution of feed, Genetic nucleus, sire line nucleus, and gene transfer centers should use dedicated feed transport vehicles. At minimum, trucks must be segregated between multiplier and commercial farms. All deliveries must follow a dynamic biosecurity pyramid. Trucks must be washed, disinfected, and dried to return to a farm higher up the pyramid. Drivers should never come in contact with feed or have contact with personnel, equipment, or animals within the clean area. Proper biosecurity for bagged feed entry into a farm must adhere to the following. Plastic or non-permeable bags can be disinfected in the fumigation room. For feed and paper bags, each individual bag must be opened and the feed contents poured into barrels or carts specifically designed for feed storage. The dirty bag must not touch the clean barrel or cart and stay on the dirty side of the farm. Feed spills must be cleaned immediately. The biosecurity of a farm is everyone's responsibility. Understanding, respecting, and rigorously performing each of these procedures minimizes the risk to animal health and well-being. Please comply with these good practices.